Welcome back terrestrials to the quarantine movie reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about the spy who dumped me. Now, when I started this, I said I was uh, going to do more than just horror movies, but as a fan of horror movies, that's a lot of what I watch. So I went out of my way to watch this movie for you guys. Um, it was made in 2018. It stars Mila Kunis. Um, it's an action comedy, and it was directed by Susan Fogel. Um, basically, the plot is uh, Mila Kunis pretends to be an actress in a movie where she plays a woman who gets dumped by her boyfriend over text. And um, after little to no investigation she finds out that her now ex-boyfriend is a spy he shows up at her apartment and needs her to help him get a package to a certain person in Vienna now this guy is the worst spy ever because he dies immediately um, and he's killed by a dude with his dick out so not by the guy's dick, but the guy had his dick out and still killed him. Um, I just want to make that clear. Uh, but, you know, the movie overall, it was good. If you're looking for something to watch um, with your significant other and you're just kind of looking for something lighthearted and something that you don't have to think about too much, um, then this movie will work well for you. Um, there's a few things. Uh, the guy... Um, that plays the spy he's not believable as a spy um, he just doesn't have the characteristics or anything that we've come to expect a spy to have even in the goofy movies where there's a guy that is an unexpected hero um, which would be Mila Kunis in this particular movie um, he doesn't exhibit any of those spy-like qualities that is usually the counterpart to the person that uh, is just winging it, essentially. And that's exactly what Mila Kunis does in this movie. She just wings it um, as far as acting and her character in the movie. Um, the big thing for me with this one was uh, the roommate um, played by Kate McKinnon, I believe, She's fucking annoying. She was driving me crazy. She is over the top. And in the movie, the boyfriend of Mila Kunis says to her at one point, have you ever been told you're a lot? And um, it kind of hurts her feelings, but she is a lot. Her character is a lot in this movie. Um, it's very... I don't know. I, I guess that's the way it was supposed to be. That's how she's supposed to be played. Um, but it was it was a lot. And it was really hard to enjoy what little bit of comedy they sprinkled in this movie because of her. A lot of jokes just missed. Um, they were just... They could have been funny, but they weren't. Um, and then a few of them hit pretty well. Uh, but for the majority of it, it's just a silly, goofy movie. Um, it's something that you can watch with your significant other or by yourself. Um, and you can just watch Mila Kunis try to not be Jackie from the 70s show. Um, because, again, she, she, like a few other people that I've... Uh, talked about in other movie reviews she doesn't have a lot of range um but you know whatever um as a big time x-files fan uh jillian anderson has a small part in this and that's almost exactly why i finished this movie um she comes in towards the middle of the movie and i was like oh well now i'm in it till the end um, I, I was previously probably going to turn it off, but I wanted to see what her character was, what she was doing. Um, 
and you know it was a really small role there wasn't a lot to it but um it was it, you know it kept me locked in just to kind of see what happens um there's a crazy gymnast assassin uh which sounds almost right out of a Zoolander movie. But uh, she's chasing these two women throughout the movie. And uh, she's probably one of the more entertaining parts of the movie. Just because she, whoever this actress is, I forgot to write down her name. Um, sorry. But she plays a psychotic gymnast really well. Um, so there were elements of this movie that were entertaining um there's a few funny scenes here and there that kind of um that kind of made it easier to get through this movie um but there were far more scenes where the comedy just missed uh there was a couple scenes where they made a snarky joke towards each other and i could just I could see it working with something else, with something else being said, or the the way it was said did not fit, did not work. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what that was about. I don't know if they tried other takes and that one just kind of worked the best, but it, it, I don't know. I felt bad for this movie because it could have been a great movie. Um, you know, I don't typically care for Mila Kunis in a lot of movies, but I know she can be funny. I've seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall and she was funny in that movie. So I know she has the ability to deliver jokes. She has the ability to be funny. I, I'm guessing this was just writing um, because uh, the, uh, most of it wasn't funny. Um, but overall, it was a it was a light-hearted kind of goofy movie. It wasn't very intense. Um, it like I said, it's categorized as a action comedy. Um, it's more action heavy than comedy, um, and you know, the action sequences were decent. They were decent of a movie that, like this, they were what you expect. Um, there was a few creative things that, like, at one point she has a spy, spy's phone and she's communicating with uh, the person who is chasing her down, essentially. And they killed the spy, but they have to use his thumb for the thumbprint. Uh, scanner on his phone and they cut off his thumb and she puts it in a lipstick thing so she can just twirl it up and uh, use his thumb to access the phone personally you know you'd think okay you would just unlock it one time and change the settings but they used the I guess stupidity um, to make it so that she has to use the thumb in a lipstick container. And though my brain immediately went to change the settings, um, hers didn't, and she found a creative way to keep the thumb on her. So I guess, you know, that's interesting, cool. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, but if you're looking for something fun to watch, um, you and your significant other, or you just want something that is, uh, pretty entertaining but you don't have to pay a lot of attention to because you can kind of figure this story out from the beginning then this is a good one um i think you'll enjoy it uh if that's the type of movie that you're into um i struggled through this movie to be honest with you i paused it a couple times got up went and got a drink came back and just kind of you know took it in stride i guess um but if this is your type of movie and you know what kind of movie this is, then um, I would say give it a go. You might enjoy it. And if you did like it and, you know, 
you got a difference of opinion, feel free to comment and uh, tell me I'm wrong. That's okay too. Uh, but anyways, um, I'll catch you on the next one. Got a couple guest episodes coming up. So be looking for those and uh, stay safe out there, guys. Talk to you later.